What's up guys, Sheldon back with another review, and today we're looking at Dark Mist Decimus Raban, which is a pretty uncommon figure, and this guy's actually a variant of the original Decimus Raban, as if anyone knows who that is. Um, but this line is called Gothatropolis, Gothatropolis uh, slash Mythic Legions, and it is basically a line of bird dudes. So you got a raven, a vulture, an owl, a cardinal, an eagle, a phoenix, a flamingo, a griffin, a falcon, I don't know what that is, a rooster, and a duck. Uh, and so this line is actually an independent line made by this sculpting company, Four Horsemen. And Four Horsemen has around, well, been around for a while and it's worked for companies like Mattel and things like that. Uh, making like He-Man figures. So that's pretty well known and they decided to poll their fans one day about what kind of series they should make and apparently bird people won. So it's kind of cool. But anyway, yeah, it's a variant of this character and this character can turn into mist and fly around. So this is his mist form, which is why it's casted in clear plastic. So pretty cool. Okay, anyway, let's look at the box really quickly though. So here you go, the different figures in the line. So on box art window, Gothatropolis right there, more box window. All right, and let's, let's look at some of the accessories. So interestingly enough, because he's a bird, he doesn't come with interchangeable hands, he comes with interchangeable feet. <laughs> so it's kind of ridiculous, but he does come with duck feet, just because. Uh, he comes with these, uh, like, talons bared feet, and then you got gripping feet, uh, and he comes with a helmet, an alternate head, a sword, and a spear slash mace, which we'll take a closer look at in a second. But let's take a look at these feet really quickly, though. All right, uh, so what the Four Horsemen are pretty well known for is their figure sculpting and their paint. And these feet are pretty impressive, actually, so kind of a random note or comparison, but if anybody has eaten, like, chicken feet before, uh, you'll know that this is pretty accurate. In terms of anatomy or at least in terms of look but it's got like these little bumps uh, like a bird foot would and it's got these little talons so it's really nice really really cool and here is the talon bared foot Whoop. again a lot of detail here a lot of wrinkles in the feet hopefully they show up and then you have that gripping talon right here and this one you can hold a well not a but the sword <laughs> this is kind of funny. And you can actually have it hold the spear, too. And for the spear mace, you can pop off the end, slide it in, like so, and have him hold on to it. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, so he comes with those feet. He comes with this sword, which is fairly nicely sculpted. A lot of nice detail, too. You can get that to zoom. Maybe I can zoom in like this. Yeah, a lot of nice detail on this sword. Really cool. Comes with this helmet. Right here. Clear plastic, though. But again, very small detail sculpted in. And that goes right on top of the head, like so. And speaking of the head, again, he comes with this alternate screaming face. By the way, it's a raven, if you couldn't tell. Uh, but the detail on this head is very nice. You can see that all the individual feathers are sculpted in there. Such intricate detail here. And the mouth is a little soft. All right, and finally, let's take a look at that spear. And actually, let me put the figure up right here. So the spear is actually pretty long. Uh, let's see, so you can actually pop off both, blah, blah, both ends, but the spear itself stands just about the same height as the figure. And you can, again, attach it just the pointy part. Just the pointy part. Or you could attach both ends with the mace right here. Where'd it go? Like so. Or you can just do one or the other, so that's pretty nice. All right, let's take a look at the figure itself, though. Uh, oh, so let's get a height measurement. All right. So Dark Mist Decimus stands about mm, a little over six and a half inches. I 
almost 7, and that comes out to about, what, 16 and a half centimeters? JK, 17 centimeters. And here he is next to Star Platinum the World, so roughly the same height with the hair. And here he is next to Figma Link, which he towers over. So overall, it's a pretty decent size. I mean, he is a giant bird monster, so it's a decent height. And if you want, you can put him next to, or put him in a display with Link, and it's like he's fighting a monster, so that's kind of cool. All right, let's take a look at articulation. Okay, uh, so the head is on a single ball peg. You can probably see into the joint a little bit here. Uh, so you do get a full swivel, and you do get the general ball joint movement here. So here it is going up, here it is going down, and you do get some side to side and all around tilt with the ball joint. Uh, just a note here though, the head is on pretty tight, and I had to like use a blow dryer to soften up uh, the mold before I could switch heads. So it is kind of troublesome though, that's the only thing. Okay. Uh, for the shoulders, we have a hinge right here, so you do get uh, almost 90 degrees, better than 45. You do have bicep swivel, which is really well hidden in the armor, by the way, so it's just this plate right here, really well done. And as you can see, you have double jointed elbows, and even the elbow cap right here is a feather, so man, it, it looks nice. Uh, and then for the wrists, it is just a hinge right here, and a swivel, and you get pretty decent range of motion going back, and going forward. Uh, for the waist, there's basically no articulation, which is a bummer, so let me see here. Uh, so you technically have a ball joint, but as you can see, you're not really going to get much movement right here, which is sad. It does swivel though, so there is that. And it does swivel at the waist right here, so I guess you can swivel at the top and bottom. It's kind of redundant, um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, for the hips, uh, so all this stuff is soft plastic by the way, so it's molded in this clear plastic and most of it is pretty soft. Uh, anyway, for the hips though, you have, you can see that he has these hinges right here. So you do get some pretty good range of motion, again, because the sculpt is pretty soft. So you get the full splits, you can rotate them around like that, no problem. Here we go. Okay, and then you do get a thigh swivel in here. And then here it is going forward, you get them pretty high. You can get them going back, you can pretty much get them in the splits both ways, so that's pretty nice. And then for the knee, we have a single joint right here. And actually, we have a second bend right there at the shin. So I guess this is kind of cool, though. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be close to bird anatomy, so I guess they have two knee joints. I never paid attention, so that's kind of cool. And it also swivels at this other bend, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and then the ankle, you do get a hinge right here, you can probably see it. So it goes pretty far down, it is ratcheted, so it is kind of tight, but you get all the way down, and you, oh gosh, I gotta be careful, I don't wanna break it. And you do get pretty good range of motion going forward, so you can combine it and make some pretty cool poses, like this, <laughs> to make him look like he's like about to fly off or something, so that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, one more thing. He has these wings back here, and you can actually take these out. Let me see if I can do it. Uh, okay, I can't do it right now, but trust me that these wings do come out. And you can pop them off, and uh, you can get separate wing accessories, and they're pretty big, so that's pretty cool uh, that you could do that. Uh, very quickly, though, so the sword fits right into the hand right there. No problem, and for the spear, you can either take off the end and slide it in, uh, but since the hand is pretty soft, you can smoosh it in pretty easily. Like so. And it has pretty good range of motion, you can use both hands like this. No problem. Alright, 
Uh, so that pretty much does it for articulation. Let's talk paint and sculpt. So he is casted in clear plastic, so there's not really much paint aside from this like little black wash to give him a little bit of texture. Um, but the sculpt is definitely the strength of not only this figure, but this line in general. So you can probably... Well, let me fix these ankles. Okay, so you can probably tell though that there was just so much intricate detail all along this figure. Just like these tiny little bumps right here, the feathers just on every inch of the figure, and even this belt. It's a soft piece by the way, but you can see on this belt he's got... Whoa, okay, it's gonna hook it around, right? But he's got like this buckle, he's got this pouch, he's got this horn right here, he's got this like, I don't know, this little charm, and he's got like knives. And if you take a look, I don't know if you can see because it's not painted, but even his abdomen has like a little sculpture scene painted to it. So it's like, like a sun, and there's like buildings and birds and stuff. So there's just, this thing is just chalk with detail. I'm just very impressed. I'm so impressed by the sculpt in this thing. That's definitely a strength right here. And again, he's got these feathers with the little like detail in there. Just detail everywhere. And even the cool design, blah, even the, the design on the back and armor is cool. Uh, so overall, in terms of look, it's unique. I've never quite seen anything like it, and it is uh, a fantasy figure. Uh, oh, before I forget, though, to change the feet, it's pretty simple. You just pop them off by yanking it out, and you just plug it in. No problem. Okay. Um, so overall, I think it's a pretty cool figure. It's not from a recognizable series though, so it's not that popular. Um, but I do like myself some strange figures, so I love it. Uh, and surprisingly, again, because he's not that popular, he comes with a decent amount of stuff. Um, it's a pretty good deal. I think this guy's like 20 bucks right now because he's not popular, even though he's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, but this sword this helmet and this extra head and those duck feet actually don't normally come with these bird figures. Um, so you're getting a pretty decent value here. Uh, so in terms of sculpt, way better than anything I've seen in terms of like western figures. So there's that. Um, so if you're a fan of really cool figures and kind of unique designs, I would say pick it up. My only gripe is that the articulation in the ankle is okay. I wish it had an ankle rocker so that it could stand a little bit better. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty solid figure overall, and it's not a well-known line. And yeah, I feel like you should know it because it's pretty sweet. Uh, they actually are doing another line of like knights and goblins and skeletons. So if you're into that, it's called Mythic Legions. I'd recommend it. Uh, okay, well, that pretty much does it for this review though. If you enjoyed, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna put this guy in some poses at the end. Alright guys, thanks for watching.